Hi, my name is Sheena Cruikshank and I'm an immunologist. My superhero has x-ray eyes so I can see through things to understand and see the immune system and see the, the, the infections that they're fighting and I have a special cloak of protection so that I don't catch any germs from the things that I'm fighting. The roundworm, Ascaris, and they're a very, very common infection. Around two billion people in the world have these sorts of parasitic worms that live in your gut, and all animals have them too, and that particular one has come from a horse. They have a very poorly tummy, so it can, it's a big cause of colic and they can get, because the worms are quite large, they can get their gut blocked as well, so it's quite serious, so they get dewormed every six months or so. So each worm species is adapted to live in its own host, and that particular species will only infect horses, but we do have an equivalent that will infect humans, and the human equivalent is about the same size, so each Ascaris is about this long, from about your forearm to the tips of your fingers. So they're, they're very common in the world, but we don't have them anymore in the UK. But King Richard, the king of the car park, famously had those. So even our royals would get infected with worms. All sorts of things. We do all sorts of things in the lab. One thing that we're trying to do is understand more about how they live in the host. So we're using new types of microscopy, which is why I have to have my special super eyes. Um, and we're trying to see how they live in tissues and we're working with material scientists and physicists to do this and we're able to see for the first time for example how they live in the gut or how they live in the liver and how they affect the blood vessels in the liver. I think it's crucial that more girls get involved in science. I think, um, I think a lot of girls quite like biology at the start, but I think they, they might be put off as they go through and there's research that suggests that they, they get put off staying in science. So unlike subjects like chemistry and physics, we tend to get a lot of biology students who are girls, but then they drop out after, after sort of their first degree. And what we need to do is sort of encourage them and show them that it's, it's possible to go all the way through to professorial level if that's what they want to do or achieve anything that they want to do. And to be a good scientist, it's all about being creative. It's combining sort of imagination with hypothesis and then going and testing it. So I think it's not just hardcore science, you need to be creative. And I think people don't always appreciate that.